in a move that is long past overdue, and sure to make those that value life cheer, the Justice Department has finally decided to launch a federal investigation into Planned Parenthood, their practices, and the illegal sale of fetal tissue and body parts. The Justice Department sent a letter to the Senate Judiciary Committee on Thursday requesting in redacted versions of documents from the panelist's 2016 investigation into the group. Justice Department Assistant Attorney General for Legislative Affairs formally requested the documents from the Senate Judiciary Committee the same panel that led the original congressional probe into the nation's largest abortion provider at the end of last year. Boyd writes the Department of Justice appreciates the offer of assistance in obtaining these materials, and would like to request the committee provide unredacted copies of records contained in the report, in order to further the Department's ability to conduct a thorough and comprehensive assessment of that report based on the full range of information available. At this point, the records are intended for investigative use only we understand. That resolution from the Senate may be required if the department were to use any of the unredacted materials in a formal legal proceeding, such as a grand jury. The committee chairman, Chuck Grassley ER previously recommended that Planned Parenthood along with several other abortion providers be sent to the FBI for further investigation last December. This investigation is a rare conjunctive effort between Grassley and ranking member Diane Feinstein, Kadi, the FBI the Doe, and other members of the Senate. Many were chairing the decision to act on Grassley's recommendation on social media. Grassley stated he believed his committee had uncovered more than enough evidence in its final investigative report to demonstrate abortion providers had indeed transferred tissue and body parts from aborted babies to various firms to use in research by charging an extremely lucrative profit above and beyond the original cost. All committee findings were submitted in a final report entitled Human Fetal Tissue Research Context and Controversy published in December, 2016. Grassley wrote to the FBI last December imploring the FBI and the Justice Department to investigate this issue further, stating, The report documents the failure of the Department of Justice, across multiple administrations, to enforce the law that bans the buying and selling of human fetal tissue. It also documents substantial evidence suggesting that the specific entities involved in the recent controversy, and or individuals employed by those entities, may have violated that law. This federal investigation serves as a vindication for activists David Dalyden and San Vermeer of the Pro-Life Center for Medical Progress. Both posed as fetal researchers back in 2015 and made a series of undercover videos of themselves with Planned Parenthood executives attempting to purchase fetal remains. The videos cover conversations with Planned Parents as well as Express, a California-based company that provides blood, tissue, and other additional biological material for medical research. SMA Express has received fetal remains from Planned Parenthood prior to these investigative videos for purchase. The explosive videos of the individuals, allegedly discussing how they obtained the highest quality fetal body parts during abortions in order to maximize sales to biotech companies, rocked the nation. Launching multiple congressional investigations into the abortion and fetal tissue procurement industries. Naturally the abortion industry and their supporters attempted to fight back. The state of California's Attorney General Xavier Becerra's office filed some 15 felony charges against Dalyden and Merritt for their part in making these undercover videos. Fourteen of those charges were eventually dismissed by Superior Court Judge Christopher Hyde, however, he allowed the charge of conspiracy to violate privacy rights to stand against the two. Becerra's office promptly refiled those charges which had the case coming before known activist Judge William Oreck of San Francisco. Oreck charged Dalyden with contempt for publishing the links to many of the journalists' recordings in May, citing defamation. Dalyden's attorneys were then forced to file a motion requesting Oreck's disqualification from his case. On the grounds that there is evidence of bias in favor of the plaintiff and 
prejudice against the defendants after Oric issued an injunction barring the public release of the recordings. Oric stated his belief that the recordings might incite threats against abortion workers. The Center for Medical Progress reported the news on their Facebook page, stating, Breaking State Judge Grants Most of Defendant Dalai Dines and Meredith Demur Motions, Knocking Out the 14 Recording Charges Until the California AG Amends Their Complaint. The judge also denied the AGS request for contempt sanctions against David S. Defense Counsel, an agreed judge or as federal gag order and the civil lawsuit should not prevent defendants from using the videos in our defense. Christian News reported of the California Department of Justice's statement on the dismissal of the bulk of the charges, stating, following the defense's complaint that there are too many surreptitious recordings to know which ones the California Department of Justice is relying on, the judge requested more specificity in the charging document, specifically to identify the videos that are the basis of the charges. The California Department of Justice has 10 days to amend the complaint and will be making the requested changes. The California AGS office attempted to build a case to prosecute Dalai and merit based on the videos being recorded without consent and unprecedented. Move considering the videos were recorded in public with no expectation of privacy and done in a manner that investigative reporters have used since the beginning of time. The Los Angeles Times quoted Becher as saying his office will not tolerate the criminal recording of confidential conversations. The right to privacy is a cornerstone of California's constitution and a right that is foundational in a free democratic society, as a reasoning for the charges. Except even the left-leaning Los Angeles Times took issue with Becher as obvious. Political prosecution? Stating, it is disturbingly aggressive for Becher to apply this criminal statute to people who were trying to influence a contested issue of public policy, regardless of how sound or popular that policy may be. Planned Parenthood and biomedical companies Express, which was also featured in the videos, have another remedy for the harm that was done to them they can sue Daylight and then merit for damages. The state don't need to threaten the pair with prison time. Though given that Planned Parenthood was a donor for Becherra's campaign it became all too clear what he was about. Planned Parenthood vehemently denies any and all wrongdoing. They claim they violated no law, nor did they in any way act in a manner that was unethical. Planned Parenthood also claims to strongly disagree with Grassley's recommendations for further investigations. Planned Parenthood also rejected any and all accusations it violated any law or acted in an unethical manner when the explosive videos first surfaced as well claiming they had nothing whatsoever to do with one of their campaign donor recipients acting as some sort of attack dog and leveling charges against Daleiden and Merit for their part in the making of the videos. Daleiden states of the lengthy legal battle and subsequent investigations to be conducted by the Justice Department and the FBI, stating, Over two years ago, citizen journalists at the Center for Medical Progress First caught Planned Parenthood's top abortion doctors in a series of undercover videos callously and flippantly negotiating the sale of tiny baby hearts, lungs, livers, and brains. It is time for public officials to finally hold Planned Parenthood and their criminal abortion enterprise accountable under the law. There is much hope amongst the pro-life community that this federal investigation will again spark the lengthy debate as to whether Planned Parenthood and other abortion providers violated the law with the illegal sale of human remains, along with the hope that it will spark additional conversations and debate as whether or not this despicable organization will continue to receive American tax dollars to continue their unethical and vile practices.